another segment of Laffy Taffy Jokes. Ooh, that one's bad. <laughs> this one you can probably guess. Had to do something with peeling. All right, well, this is part two of our slope segment. And this time we are going to just use a formula when we are given two points. Now the formula we're gonna use, M, we use in math to represent slope. And we're gonna use the formula Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So on the left-hand side, we have example one. I'm gonna label this X1, Y1, X2, Y2 for our second ordered pair. Here's the formula, Y2 minus Y1, over x2 minus x1. So it's just a matter of substituting in. 5 minus 4 over 4 minus a negative 2. So make sure you're real careful as you're substituting in. Now when you minus a negative, remember that becomes plus plus. And now I just solve the numerator. 5 minus 4 is 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. So the slope would be 1 sixth. Our second example, x1, y1 for the first ordered pair, x2, y2 for the second ordered pair. Substitute in, I get negative 6 minus 2 over 4 minus a negative 5. So anytime I see minus a negative, I'm going to change that right away to plus plus. Now with integers, a negative minus a negative, I think of they are the same sign. I'm going to add them together. Sign stays the same. On the bottom, 4 plus 5, they're both positive, and I get 9. So negative 8 ninths would be the answer for that slope. Now I'm going to show you one other option. It's called slope slide. And what you got to remember, what you need to remember to do is to subtract going down the slide. So here's an example two points and we're find, trying to find the slope. So what you do is you put them right on top of each other and you make this slide. Now you have to remember that you're subtracting. It's eight minus four, which is four. It's negative two minus a negative two. So this method is probably more for people that can do this mentally. So this becomes plus plus, negative two plus two would give you zero. Ah, dividing by zero would give us an undefined slope. Next example, making my slide, it's four minus a negative one, which becomes plus plus. Four plus one is five. I'm going to go 6 minus 3, which is 3. So our slope would be 5 thirds. So you just got to really be careful of signs here. So I make my slide. My two ordered pairs are on top of each other. Negative 3 minus 2. Okay, so I've got to think same sign. I add them together. Sign stays the same. Negative one minus a negative five. I'm gonna change both of those to plus plus. Negative one plus five, they're opposite signs, so I subtract. I've got more positive, and so I have positive four. Last example, 
1 minus 1 would be 0. 1 minus 4. So you've got to think they're opposite signs. So I'm actually going to subtract them, and I've got more negative. Because I have a 0 in the numerator, that slope would be 0. That would be a horizontal line. So you choose which method you want when you're given two points. You can either use the formula or put the points uh, right on top of each other and try to use slope slide. So whichever method you prefer.